Is it possible to recreate dinosaurs from their DNA? Where's my coffee? Now, over to our science expert! It looks like they're beaming me down as a hologram. Hello again, it's me, Professor Feldman. I'm reporting from 65 million years ago, BF, that's before felt, at the end of the Cretaceous period. Movies such as Jurassic Park and later Jurassic World use DNA to recreate dozens of dinosaurs. And if you saw any of these movies, you had to wonder to yourself, could science and real scientists do that today? Keep the noise down back there. Okay, over to the narrator. Oh, that's me. Screen! Dinosaur fossils are all that's left of these prehistoric animals, immersed for tens of millions of years in ancient mud, minerals and water. The fossils come from dinosaurs, so-called hard parts. Their bones, teeth and skull. We find dinosaur fossils in the ground, in riverbeds and lakes, and on the sides of cliffs and mountains. Every now and then someone finds one in their backyard. Often they are quite near the surface, and usually they are embedded in sedimentary rock. With enough fossils, scientists can build a dinosaur skeleton. This is what you see in the museum. Scientists have big problems when trying to find DNA in dinosaur fossils. DNA molecules eventually decay. Recent studies show how DNA deteriorates and ultimately disintegrates after about 7 million years. That sounds like a long time, but the last dinosaur died at the end of the Cretaceous period. That's more than 65 million years ago. Think of a fossil today. Any dino DNA within that would have long since fallen apart. That means, as far as scientists know, that even using the best technology available today, it's not possible to make a dinosaur from its DNA. Although it's too late to find dino DNA, scientists recently found something almost as intriguing. They discovered DNA fragments in the fossils of Neanderthals and other ancient mammals such as woolly mammoths. Now that makes sense, those fragments are less than 2 million years old, well before all of the DNA would decay. So, no DNA, no dinos. But, all is not lost, we can recreate a type of woolly mammoth. Rather, it would be a combination of mammoth DNA and another animal, a hybrid. And here at Schrodinger's Rats, we have gone and done it. Behold, the doggy mammoth. I've not made a doggy mammoth. We have the know-how for the resources. Instead, we use the Schrodinger's Rats of his pet. If you've liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's an asteroid coming, so I better go. Bye.